Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how we can make use of Tal's Vocoder 2 plugin in Ableton Live. Um, the Tal Vocoder is a great free vocoder plugin, uh, which is available for both Windows and Mac, and it requires a little bit of special routing in order to get it going. It's not as quickly drag and drop as some uh, plugins which you might be used to so I thought I'd just show you guys how we can make use of this great vocoder plugin. So currently in my Ableton session right here I have a very simple hi-hat uh, loop. So you can hear obviously just a basic hi-hat loop. Now what I would like to do is I would like to add Towel Vocoder to this hi-hat. So I'm going to take a look in my plugins list here on the left hand side. And I have Towel Vocoder 2. I'm going to click this, drag it, and drop it onto my audio track. And that's going to open the interface for Towel Vocoder. Now you might think that because I've initially instantiated this on my track that I should start hearing the effect. But if I play back you're going to notice I'm actually not hearing any audio right now so I'm currently playing you're going to notice you're not going to be hearing anything now if I were to bypass the Tel vocoder there's my sound so this means that I need to do a little bit of routing now the way that a vocoder works essentially is it requires a carrier signal it requires a signal in order to modulate the sound which we're feeding into the vocoder so in, or, in other words in order to make the vocoder come alive we have to tell it what notes we want to play into it in order to cause for the vocoder to apply its effect to the audio so i'm going to make use of a midi track right now so i have a midi track by default set up in my ableton live session and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new MIDI clip and I'm just going to double click here in an empty clip slot. Now I have my MIDI clip editor down on the bottom of my Ableton session and I'm going to just go ahead and draw a few notes in here. Again, I'm not being incredibly, incredibly selective right now, just entering some notes into this MIDI clip. Okay, so now I have some notes. Now I need to take a look at the routing for my MIDI track which I'm working with here you're going to notice that you have a pull down here which says MIDI 2. I'm going to click on that pull down and I'm going to select one audio. Now this means that I am currently routing the MIDI out to this audio track which I have my my hi-hat loop currently instantiated on. And you're going to notice that you're going to see Right underneath that pull down, once I select my audio track, you're going to see the Tal vocoder listed right here as a destination. And now there's one more thing that I need to do in order to make this setup work. I need to go ahead and click onto my audio track and take a look at Tal vocoder. In the top right hand section of Tal vocoder, you're going to notice a button which is labeled input mode on and so I'm going to engage the input mode on towel vocoder so now I've let the vocoder know that I'm going to be sending an external input into it so now all I should need to do is start playing back my MIDI clip which I have previously created and as long as I play that MIDI clip back at the same time as my hi-hat loop I should hear the effect of the vocoder being applied to my track. So I'm going to go ahead and select a different preset here in Tel Vocoder. We'll select the robotic harmonic here. And I'm going to launch both of these clips and we should hear the effect of the vocoder. So there you go, you can hear the effect of the vocoder happening now. And I'll show you the difference if I stop my MIDI clip and begin playing my audio track back. Again, you notice right now there is currently no audio being output 
from my audio track, but if I engage my MIDI clip, now you start to hear the effect of the vocoder coming in. So essentially this MIDI clip is telling Tal Vocoder what notes we want to play into it, and then the Tal Vocoder is applying its effect to the clip which I currently have playing on this audio track. So you can see that there's a little bit of specialized routing there that you might not be used to using uh, with some plugins to where we, we are typically used to dragging and dropping a plugin directly onto a track and immediately we hear its effect. But in the case of most vocoders, we need to do a little more specialized routing, but of course the ultimate outcome sounds great. So I hope that this is useful to you guys. As always, please stay in touch with me at brian at obedia.com on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor and Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. Please go beyond the tutorial. Give me a call. Sign up with us. Work one on one. I'll show you how, you how we can help you to tame your technology and get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software, which is what we do here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next tutorial. Take care. Hey, hey.